Hey, what's up, guys? This is DJ. New and updated mods have been released on the mod hub for Farm 722. In total, we had 10 mods today for all platforms, 8 new and 2 updates, and that is it. We'll go over all the new mods, plus their customization. we got something really cool in front of you guys right now, plus we'll review all the mods that got updated, but there's only 2 of them. Also, uh, I am feeling absolutely awful today, but I'm going to get through this video <laughs> uh, as best that I can, as normal as I can for you guys, because you deserve it. But let's jump in and check out the mods. Before we get into the new mods today, uh, just saw Farming Simulator 23 ad in Farm Sim 22. Uh, what's the funniest or most interesting ad that you guys have seen? Let me know. All right, now let's start with the new ones for all platforms. We've got a couple really cool ones. First off is the Zarian 3000 Saddle Track. You guys may know that a Zarian Saddle Track was a pre-order bonus if you guys pre-order Farming Simulator 22. Well, now we have a mod as well. This is completely different, and we will go over some of the changes and differences so you can see those. I also know that PlayStation players are still having a difficult time getting it and downloading the other one, uh, myself included on PS4. I still haven't been able to get it. So we'll talk about that. Nonetheless, 335 horsepower on this bad boy right here. We've also got a CVT transmission, 620 liters of fuel, and it goes 34 miles an hour. Very cool there. Now for the engine, we could do a 335, a 379, and back and forth between those. Wheel brands, bring us Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, Nuck in, which drops it down a little at back end. Now we can do some narrow duels, which are my favorite on Azarian, but you could go through and do a couple other things as well, like normal duels or wide tires or other things like that. And we've got these options in all of these setups. Now, attachments at the front, we have an 1800 kilogram weight. You can bump that to 2226. You can even do a three point if you guys want to put your own on there, but that is it. You can't do like nothing. So there you go. Uh, side sign. You could do the EU or none. Main colors. This is kind of nice. You've got multiple color options. Not every color, but most all of them, which is kind of cool. We'll just go back to green there. And then design color. I'm interested for this. Oh, okay. It's the exhaust right here. So you could change that. Now we do have rim colors as well. Basically everything you need here, including chrome, which I love. And then you have your license plate. Now attachments. We have the slurry tank. 15,000 liter capacity on here. Slurry and digestate. You can do a design on the side of it. You can change up the main color of the tank. And you can change up another design. I believe that's going to be on the very back. Yes, that little metal piece right there. Then we have the pump for the front. So you can use this if you like. We've got a design on there. And then you've got your color options there as well. Pretty cool. And then we got this. <laughs> we, got, we got a seed holder, but it also will hold a solid fertilizer or lime, which is absolutely epic. So uh, 8,000 liter capacity, and it says 10 mile per hour max speed, which is kind of neat. No design. Again, same thing there. We've even got different brands. Limken, Horsch, uh, K Brand, Vederstad, or nothing. Main colors. We have all of those branded colors, even though they're about the same. Well, they made it nice and easy for us. And same thing through here at the top as well. Check that out. Looks like a very stud uh, seat holder. That's cool. And then lastly, we have another weight. You can use this and put this on the back if you wanted to. So how does this compare with the uh, pre-order bonus that we've got? Well, it has less horsepower. It's a 3,000 versus a 4,000. Uh, we have more customization, but that's probably very obvious. We still have a front unit, so that comes with both of them. We also have a tank for the back. That comes with both as well. And it's holds 16,000 as opposed to 15. But we've also got a injector and we have a tank trailer that'll run as well. Nonetheless, I do think this is pretty cool. We're going to turn it on real quick just to show you. I've just got the Zune Hammer back piece right here for you guys. We'll just back into it, hook it up real fast. Uh, right about there. There we go. And then we've got the front piece. So this is more or less very similar to what we've got in the DLC. However... If you just had a hard time getting a hold of it, or maybe you just haven't been able to buy it or something like that, well, now we have a free mod for all platforms. You guys can jump in and enjoy it. Let me know what you think about this. Next up from custom modding, we have their Lizard Liquid Fertilizer Wagons. Now, I don't know how long it took these to get through testing, but I do know we just did a video on these less than a week ago. And they're here. So that's pretty darn cool. So let's take a look. We've got two of them. They both hold uh, liquid fertilizer and herbicide. 15,000 liters versus 5,000 liters. And this is more of a trailed version. So this would kind of go behind what you got. And this goes behind as well. But it also has a trailer hitch on the back. So you can kind of go in between. More so than not, I would say, use this with a big air seeder. Use this with a planter. 
Nice and simple. So let's go over specs. 15,000 liter capacity on the, uh, well, it's not really a Pattinson, is it? 15, <laughs> the regular Lizard. We've got the Michelin, the Lizard tires, the more Lizard tires, and then we have more Lizard tires. Do love that. So let's stick that on there and let's go with the regular Lizard front wheel. Now we've got our frame. So you go through, pick the frame color that you want. Doesn't have a John Deere color, but probably most of you guys are going to stick to uh, base colors anyway. And then you've got your hoses on there. Do you like the dark blue? So there we go. Going to get one of those least. And we have the smaller version. Kind of the same thing here. 5,000 liters. It holds a third less. Same wheel options. I do like those big ones. We've got the same color setups right here. And then we've got the same design setup for your um the hose right there when you are setting up other things i'm assuming most of you guys are probably going to use this with a c850 air cart you could just do seed and be fine you don't have to set this up for fertilizer just do seed and what it'll do is that liquid fertilizer will run with it so we got that we got our air drill and then one of the planters i would recommend using is this one the case ih 2150 early riser because one of the great things is rear attacher Yes, and you could put a rear attachment on there. When those dropped, we had no idea what that was going to be used for, and nor did we really have anything that would work well. Well, now we do. And definitely not that I'm one that should be giving you guys driving lessons or anything. <laughs> I think I've proven for quite a few years now that I should not be the one to do that. But uh, go ahead and back up your cart to the liquid cart first. Oh, I didn't do a good job of that. And then once you got those together, go ahead and back this up as well. And you should be able to hook right up. I am really bad at this. <laughs> and now you've got a full setup ready to rock and roll. Uh, go ahead and fill up with seed. Go ahead and fill up with liquid fertilizer and hit the field and do what you need to do. Pretty cool. Likewise with the planter, this is a little bit easier because all you've got is, well, the planter and then your cart in the back. So uh, one of the nice things about this is it doesn't do fertilizer. So we've got to go through, or you don't have to select fertilizer rather, come back here, grab a hold, and now we've got seed and liquid fertilizer that you guys can put into the ground if you wish. Very cool, very great setups. I recommend both of these, especially if you're running larger, more North American style farms. These are really going to look good on your farm. Next up, we have the Lizard Front Roller Pack. Now, these are just rollers at the end of the day. There is no customization whatsoever for these. However, we do have some good specs. 160 horsepower required, 6 meters at 6 miles an hour. That is a front roller. And then we've got 4.5 meters, 145 horsepower, 4 meters at 140 horsepower, and 3 meters at 130 horsepower. Definitely the 6 meter is the best uh, bang for your buck there. Uh, these look a whole lot bigger than they actually are because the hitch is very, very small-ish on here. So really cool. Very nice. If you need a front roller, grab them. So here's a mod that I'm actually super excited about. This is the Shed House. It's a shed. You've got areas right here. Look at this little light fixture button. Look at that. That's awesome. They got a like flicker coming on. How cool is that? We've also got the year two season pass listed on here with uh, Gruval right there. And then if we go over here behind door number one, we've got some more pictures. We've got another little light set up right here. We've got all your stuff through there. We'll come over here. Boop. And we've got a house. Yeah. More light fixtures. We've got a place where you can change your clothes. Great hanger uh, set up there. And then we got a place where you can sleep. I love this. It looks awesome. We've got openable windows. So if you guys want to let the uh, let the air breathe a little bit, I think this would be a really, really good like start from scratch setup or maybe survival role play. You've got your house. You've got an area right here where you can put, you know, I don't know, I don't know whatever, whatever you want to put there. Pallets, bales, put some up here. It's just one of the coolest buildings I think that we've ever gotten in Farming Simulator. And I'm absolutely in love with it. I think I'm going to have to leave this on my game safe. Next, a little bit more modern. This is the open garage. And this is very, very big. It is a Horman. So it does match all of the stuff that we've got in the game. Easy to find. Just go into your sheds. You got it right here. And we've got all kinds of color options. I can't really zoom out enough to show them to you, though, which kind of stinks. But I guess that is what it is. Colors change. You'll just have to trust me, man. <laughs> Going around. I mean, which sees what you get. We've got three solid sides and the front is open. Next, we have the Lizard Log Bunker. We've seen a couple of these recently. And again, I'm absolutely loving these setups. Super easy to walk through. Very, very nice to get around. You can line up quite a few of these together. Uh, they're 
look to be seasons ready. I think everything is at this point, but uh, hey, that's we got some nice screenshots on the website if you guys want to check that out. Put your logs up here. They roll forward when you're ready. Get your tongs under there and grab them. Not much more to it, huh? It's not every day we get new fences, and I feel like this is one of those parts of Barbie Simulator that maybe just a little bit overlooked on how epic and great fences can be in your map. So we have four pieces with this. We have the normal chain link fence. Very cool, very cool there. We've got a bigger gate. So this is kind of neat. Big gate setup. You can, uh, yep, use that as a gate. Uh, then we've got another setup here. Single set. So it goes from one side to the other. Maybe use a security gate or something like that. And then one that's just a little bit bigger. Uh, the animations are awesome on this. They look really good. The gate themselves look really nice as well. Um, you know, if you're looking for a chain link fence, dude, just go download this. It's out. It looks good. It doesn't mess around. Go, go, go. And your last new one for all platforms today is the farm entrance decoration. There's really not a whole lot to this. Decoration is correct. So we go into decoration, go into others. And right here beside clutch, we've got the farm decoration. Ba boom And lastly today, let's go over some mod updates for all platforms. Only got two of them. The first one is the Flegal Flatbed Semi-Trailer version 101. Fixed display of control icons in info help window. Fix the warning regarding missing settings in the configuration file fix. Fix the collision in the front. Fixed issue where AI traffic did not pass the trailer and added support for 120 centimeter by 130 centimeter Heston Bells. And your only other mod update in your last mod today, the GDR Building Pack version 1.1. Straw Halls naming corrected, DDR Warehouse naming has been corrected, and tip collision error fixed for lamps. Well guys, that is it for today's new mod video. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on it if you did. Get subscribed if you're new. Enjoy the Go Ahead fam. Make sure notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel, even on days that I'm really, really, really want to get back in bed. I feel awful right now, but you know what? We got to get these videos out for you guys so that you know what you need to know for the things. The confusion, it's here whether I feel bad or not. Regardless, I just hope you have an awesome day. We'll see you guys later. Peace.